The Olympics already over. It seemed like they came and went so quickly. I know. Everybody that, makes money. Feels, though. <laughs> except for the athletes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I realized, and I maybe I've done this before, but I realized this time around, I consumed them differently. Mm. And, and what I mean by that is, I didn't watch any of it. Yeah. No. no same. We admitted that last episode. No opening ceremonies. No nothing. But what I did was watch my meme pages. Mm-hmm. Okay, Snoop Dogg is narrating some stuff. <laughs> um, Usain Bolt is uh, 10th as opposed to 1st, which he was in 2008. Mm-hmm. And only off by, what, a 10th of a second or something? Wild. In fact, you shared something this week on your radio station page. I did, yeah. After 100 years of innovation, from the Olympics in 1924 to the Olympics in 2024, mm-hmm. the men's 100-meter relay... The uh, difference in a hundred years, and this is with uh, better shoes, better mm-hmm. track, better starter better blocks. blocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Point mm-hmm. eight seconds. Wild to <laughs> me, by the way. Now, here's something else. I was hearing about how in this specific Olympics, there was, so they've added these like speakers to the back of the blocks. Oh. So that everyone gets the sound of the, of the starting shot at the same time. Really? And the winner of one of the races, I don't remember which, because again, we didn't watch it. We just (laughs) saw the memes. Uh, But the winner apparently won by like point something seconds, but he was also the furthest away from where the gun was shot. So it would have taken the sound longer to travel to him than the difference in how he won the race. Oh, wow. So if he would have gone when he heard the sound, he would have lost. Right. But because he went when he heard it because of the speaker... He won. It's kind of funny to me that we're down to milliseconds now. Insane, isn't That's it? The, it is insane. Yeah. It's insane bolt. <laughs> but I w- the point I was making is um, I would I waited for the memes, and now I'm going back and watching all the highlights. Right, yeah. The, the You know, the, the meme-worthy parts that people are talking about. Well, and I will say, I think one very particular thing got memed more than anything else. Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the poor French pole vaulter. Oh no, that's not who I was thinking. Okay, you okay, you go first. What are you thinking? <laughs> well, I was thinking of Ray Gun. Oh yeah. The Australian breakdancer. Yes. Uh also I saw <laughs> the most hilarious product, and I don't know how they got it out so fast. I don't know if it's a product product per se. Yeah. But you know how some cars have that back windshield wiper? Yes. And like some people will decorate it. Like I've seen yes. one where it's like a basketball hoop in the arm <laughs> slamming a basketball and uh-huh. stuff. Uh They made one of her, where her legs are the part that moves, and then she's like laying there. It's pretty funny. (laughs) Yeah, that was um, was pretty bad. Yeah, (laughs) Um, yeah. Up your game, Australia. (laughs) I, I mean, I'm sure she's a fine person. I thought it was just plain embarrassing. But we're, I mean, we uh, USA, right? Didn't we invent break dancing? I'm. Pretty sure. On, on yeah. cardboard boxes in the Bronx in, or Brooklyn in New York, I, I think. I mean, that sounds right to me. Okay, I was thinking of the French pole vaulter. Mm. Oh, I was thinking about him before, too. Wee wee, madame. Package delivery. <laughs> um, <laughs> hear me out, though. It, this is the very definition of mixed emotions. <laughs> hey, buddy. The bad news is you can't go to the next round. You're not going to win a medal. <laughs> the good news is, is everybody is watching your package bounce over that pole vaulting bar in slow-mo. And getting thirsty. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. The good news is your package is now world famous. In fact, I think he's been offered money by some site. <laughs> you know, for like a little, or like a condom company or something. For a little guest appearance. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and of course he's French. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we <Good> for him. <laughs> but or did you already make that joke? A little bit. Okay. But yours is better. Yours is better. <laughs> anyway, um, his wee wee knocked the bar off. Poor the, guy. Uh, or the, is he a poor guy? He's, probably. I, I mean, think he's blessed. He's rich in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> he might not have the gold. But he's still doing just yeah. fine. <laughs> hon, 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 yeah. fromage baguette. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but there was... A, okay, the other athlete, though, that was really big was that um, Turkish shooter. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like 50 plus, right? Yeah. 52, I thought I yeah, heard. Yeah, I think he's 52. Yeah. I saw a really sweet picture of him and his cat. Yeah. Honestly, it's so funny because he goes out there and he's like so cash about it. And everyone's making jokes about how he's a secret hitman, da, da, da. But then I see that picture of him and his cat and it's like, oh, no, he's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> I wonder. Which is a term we just recently learned on this show. <laughs> I kind of wonder if the reason... He is like so chill and so good at what he does is because he's like always playing with a laser pointer with his cat. Uh, could be. And like maybe he's just gotten his aim so precise <laughs> that like he doesn't like, I mean, all the other guys were wearing these like crazy goggles that have like all kinds of lines to help you shoot and stuff. Uh -huh. But like he doesn't need to do that anymore because he's always, like, he's probably just always got his laser pointer out and he knows exactly just that the movements of his hand that'll lead the laser to where it needs to go. Yeah. He had that just dead on <laughs> confidence, didn't he? Yeah, dude. And the hand Very in the impressive. pocket. Yeah. Like he was just cash, yep. dude. That was just a, a Monday afternoon. No big <laughs> yeah. deal. You know, like he might as well have been standing in line at the bank. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not in that position. <laughs> well, maybe not with a gun. Put but... the money in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Man, I I almost Stick said in a, him up. <laughs> I even almost said in a coffee shop, but that's also like yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but in a bank is definitely a little worse. Right. <laughs> you know, I really like how memed this Olympics was. Yes, because I don't feel like we've ever had that before. Right. Well, and m memes are definitely more prominent, prevalent now than well, any yeah, other time but in like, history. Four years ago, they were pro. I mean, they were about the same. Yeah. I wonder if this Olympics has just been a little bit more outrageous. Memes were at the <laughs> beginning. Memes were for people that you know visited ICanHasCheeseburger dot com. Right. <laughs> and now Grandma knows what memes are. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I saw I, completely unrelated, but somebody posted a picture of their grandma's house where she posted a meme on her doorway. <laughs> Two frames. One frame. Skinny people, stick people walking into you when you're walking into grandma's house. <laughs> Second frame, you when you're walking out of grandma's house to fat stick figures. <laughs> and she had printed it, framed it, <laughs> put it up in her house. That's all I'm saying. That is so funny, though. I love that. <laughs> Memes are all around us. <laughs> <laughs>